Hello, hi guys. Uh, we at Apricot make uh, base shapers along with other handbag accessories. Um, so today I'm going to talk about base shapers specifically because we receive a lot of questions about what base shapers do and what kind of base shapers we can basically buy uh, as the best fit for our handbag. So uh, in the first two minutes of my video, I'll talk about what base shapers do, but if you're already familiar with that, you can just skip to the part where I talk about how to choose the best uh, base shaper. So I have this very nice uh, LV Speedy handbag here. Uh, my wife uses this quite often and she basically loads it with a lot of items. And uh, so as a natural consequence of that, the back, as you can see, sags at the bottom. And also you can see on the side, it sort of like causes deformation, not on the bottom, but also this side as well. So a lot of people don't like this look. And uh, the problem with this look also is in the long term, if you're wearing this bag quite often with this sort of sag all the time, it can cause also bag deformation over time. So we don't want to, this to happen, of course. And the good news is there is a very affordable, simple solution called Base Shaper. And I will talk about how to use it. So let's unload this bag, put a base shaper in it and load it with the same items again so you can see how it looks with a base shaper in it. Now our Speedy handbag is, has a base shaper in it. As you can see, the bottom is perfectly flat. There is no sagging and there is no sign of deformation on the sides of the bag. Okay, so this is obvious benefit of using a base shaper. There is one not so obvious benefit of using a base shaper, which is to protect the base of your bag. So a lot of times we put dirty items in our bags. We also put uh, liquids, water bottles, different types of items that can spill over time. So the bottom of the bag usually gets the dirtiest. So using a base shaper will protect the base and help it stay clean and I'll take one of these base shapers and since it's made with vegan leather there's a vegan leather coat around it this can be easily wiped with a dry towel like this one and there is no harm to it or you can wipe it with a moist towel this is a very moist towel it's a damp towel so you can clean it and you can just let it dry, or you can just to expedite the drying process, you can just dry it off with a dry towel. And you will have a very clean base shaper, and you can do this as many times as you like. Okay, so the benefits are two, two kinds. In summary, you prevent the sagging at the bottom, also keep the base clean. But there are so many different kinds of base shapers in the market, so which one to buy? Uh, when we started, we noticed that there are so many plastic acrylic base shapers that usually sell for $15, $20, $30, depending on the size and the type of the base shaper. Well, we didn't like what we saw. The reason being is that most of these base shapers, they don't blend well with the look of your bag. I know you spend several thousand dollars to buy a designer bag like a Louis Vuitton Neverfull goes for fifteen hundred dollars there are bags that go for five thousand ten thousand dollars even non-designer bags that are very trendy like Quiana bags Everlane bags they go for like two hundred three hundred dollars or more so we, we saw that yes this is an affordable accessory but while making an affordable why not also make it blend with the handbag so we decided to go with vegan leather because vegan leather basically is affordable there are very there are there is a lot of good quality vegan leather products out there we chose a soft vegan leather because this product is supposed to be soft and we said that let's choose colors that are compatible with 
LV products, Louis Vuitton products, as much as possible. For example, the uh, base shape would be just put inside this Speedy, has a tone of brown that is very similar to the brown here. Of course, we cannot claim 100% color compatibility, but we get close to it as much as possible and more than other, other manufacturers. So, other, other than the blending factor, which is very important for an accessory in my opinion, uh, there is another factor that is important for the base shaper, which is the flexibility of the base shaper. If a base shaper is too flexible, too soft, obviously it will bend a lot and it won't provide uh, enough support for the bottom of the bag. But what, how about if it's too rigid? In that case, this is exactly what we see with the plastic base shapers and acrylic base shapers, some of the acrylic base shapers in the market. If that is the case, then the pressure that base shaper experiences on the top will be just transformed to your back. So your back will try to handle the pressure at the bottom. So which means that there will be more friction between the base shaper and the inner lining of your back. So when the base shaper is too rigid, then your bag will most likely experience too much pressure between the base shaper, the corners of the base shaper, the edges, and the bottom of your bag. So we don't want a base shaper that is too rigid, and that's exactly the problem you see with some of the plastic pro uh, products out there, base shapers out there, and you don't want it too soft because that wouldn't basically prevent your bag from sagging. So the right thing is the balance, and when we try to make these base shapers, we want to flex a little bit, not too much like this and of course another thing is that you have to be careful about the weight of the base shaper because if it's too heavy and too thick then it will basically press down on your bag it will make it heavier and we know that most of the bags are already heavy because they carry so many items okay right. one more factor that is really important for base shaper selection is the size every bag has a different measurement the base size differs so we, have, we receive a lot of questions about what is the right base shaper size for my bag. So most of the listings you will see out there on Amazon, Etsy, eBay and other individual websites, they basically are for specific handbags. It says something like Louis Vuitton Neverfull base shaper or Quiana base shaper, etc. So what we do, of course that's very helpful, but one thing you need to be very careful about is that whether your bag is authentic or not. If your bag is authentic, then most likely you can rely on uh, all these individual listings for specifically for handbag models. But if it's not, then you have to measure your bag. Another problem we have is uh, the website data. A lot of customers come to us saying, oh, Louis Vuitton website says my Neverfull is blah, blah dimensions. And, uh, and that's not good because the website dimensions data is coming from the outside of the bag. So it's measured on the bottom of the bag here. So people measure it from here to here, right? So which is not good because the base shaper goes in the handbag. So, so you have to take your measurement from inside of the bag. And, and then once you provide that data to us, we can of course find the best fitting base shaper uh, for your bag. All right, we're talking about the size. I want to add one more factor here uh, because uh, many people have a hard time maybe knowing or understanding this about base shapers. They come in very different sizes. For example, I'll show you some examples. This is something that we made for Madewell, made, Madewell uh, medium transport tote. And it's a small, cute uh, brown color uh, uh, base shaper because most of the medium transports we see out there they're brown colored so we care about that color compatibility and this is for example a uh, we like this bag a lot mz wallace uh, metro totes it's a medium size and uh, this is basically one of the colors we made it comes in black beige brown and a few other like color options that we have uh, so this is another Look, as you can tell, the, uh, the sizes are very different, both on the, the width and the length. And, uh, and this is one of the big ones. This is for LV Keepall, size 55. There is size 60 as well, which is even larger than this one. 
and a kipple is an awesome bag. It comes in four different sizes, 45, 50, 55, 60. So let's say you buy a kipple base shape or which one, you have to know exact size. If you don't, you can just contact us. Our contact email address is contact at apricot.us. Um, so you can even drop like your question, write your question at the bottom of the video. We will check the questions and then try to help you through through uh, the comments area on the on the video. And uh, we have other, uh, basically we have a lot of focus on the LV products because there are, uh, there are so many of them out there and there are so many lovers of LV products. So this is for example the size for our Speedy, LV Speedy 25. There is also size 30, 35 and 40. And one thing I wanna add is that a lot of people don't know about what PM, MM, GM refers to with LV products. PM is for petite, for small LV size. Uh, MM is for medium uh, and GM is the largest one for grand size and please don't assume that I don't want to confuse you but there's so many different products out there LV is a great company so many years of like production there so many different uh, handbag models so if you buy let's say an on-the-go GM and never full GM both of them are GM size but their sizes are different so I don't want to confuse you again but you have to know exactly what model you're using we made base shapers for both. We have an on-the-go GM model base shaper and, on, and a Neverfull GM model. And their sizes are different, but they, the small differences sometimes can be important. One maybe important tip that I can give you is let's say you buy a base shaper and you wanna know how many different types of bags you can use it for. If the base shaper width and length uh, is let's say one inch smaller than the base of your bag that is fine that's still usable it doesn't have to be perfect fit uh, but if it goes like more than one inch then you might have problems with the back sh base shaper being too small and that can actually is not the biggest problem you would have with the back but still it can over time cause a little bit of maybe marks at the bottom of your bag so that's something that, that you will ne uh, need to watch for but in summary if you find, especially on the Apricot site or one of our stores on Etsy, eBay, Amazon, if you find a specific listing specifically for your uh, handbag, then you can be assured that that base shaper is perfect fit for that specific model as long as that model is an authentic model that you have. Um, I think that's pretty much it. And, and I'm sure you might have different questions about how to use a base shaper how to, can, for example, be used. So I've also received questions about if organizers can be used to prevent the sagging of the base. This is also another area. We highly recommend using a base shaper for base sagging because organizer is a great product for a different purpose. And we will shoot another video about that. So for now, let's, I would like to wrap it up. Our contact email address is contact at apricot.us. We are a US-based company, company working out of San Francisco. And, uh, if you have any doubts about what to buy or if you want to experiment with some of our base shapers, uh, please know that we accept returns uh, within 30 days of your purchase and buying process is very easy, just like buying any other product online. Uh, and thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and like our video. Thank you very much. Have a great day.